made it into second gear, folks. We're real. Oh, oh, never mind. Hello and good morning. It's been a really long time since I made a video. Two, three, two weeks, two. School got really busy and client work got somewhat semi-busy. Oh, we gotta lock the door. I haven't even finished editing the Europe videos, which I'm gonna, I don't know if I'm gonna finish them. We'll see. A lot of things going on uh, for the WRX for ASA. Ugh, school bag. Okay. So there's a lot to catch up on. A lot has happened in terms of learning how to drive stick and, uh, you know, taking Asa to school, which I started doing. The first day was absolutely terrifying. I've never driven stick on the highway. And... Okay, never driven stick on the highway. Um, it's very, very different from driving stick in the local neighborhood. Around here, I don't go past third gear. I don't need to. Sometimes I'll get into fourth, but generally speaking, you don't go into fourth. You don't go past third gear. All of a sudden, on the highway, you gotta be in like fourth gear, fifth gear. It's... It's interesting uh, and kind of scary for someone who's never done it before. But yeah, there's things I gotta tell you guys. The car is just about warmed. Whomst? Whomst is honking. Should be a good day. There's a photo shoot today for the Fordham Car Club. Funny story is last week we got Asa all detailed and cleaned. That's when we found the door ding. And... Turns out that it was the wrong day. It wasn't the day of the shoot that we uh, got her cleaned up for. There's a lot of things going on in my life and in the car life of Kyle. I'll, I'll tell you guys about it or show you or got. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on SoundCloud. Eventually. Look at that. An STI WRX. Okay, I only have a few hours here, like an hour or two, because I have a photo shoot with a Fordham Car Club. You guys didn't see this. There's a lot of bird poop on Asa. And a few days ago, before the rain, it was like from this corner all the way to that fin was just poop. And then where else? Where else is there poop? On the X of the WRX, just poop. Some poop there, poop there, poop all over here, poop on a door handle at some point, poop everywhere. Now, when every bird in the Tri-State area poops on your car, it gets a little bit annoying, especially when you have a photo shoot coming up. I just have to turn in an assignment that's due at like yesterday, and I'm gonna get Asin nice and clean. Ugh, so dirty. Just look at how disrespectful these birds are, man. They don't care. They don't care. They'll do whatever they want. You so fucking precious when you smile. Uh, yeah. Hit it from the back and drive you wild yeah, yeah, yeah. girl i lose myself up in those eyes <laughs> i just had to let you know you're fine let it sit for a little bit and then we get to do the desoping. Feels like forever, even if forever's tonight. Just lay with me. What's this night away with me? Alright, well, it's drizzling, so the first half of the wash was kind of rendered useless. The main point was to get the bird poop off the car before the shoot, and then after that, I'm gonna take this to Fordham and then wipe it down again over there. So, okay. It's raining. Probably not the best idea to wash a car during 
right before a rain shower. Parking ticket. That ticket I got when Asa was less than one week old because of missing front plate on a brand new car that didn't come with a bracket. They could have looked at the registration, all that. Traffic police are scumbags who only care about money. So they gave me a ticket. Wrote a response. So I said, car's brand new, didn't come with a bracket. Here's the receipt of when I ordered the bracket and here's when it arrived the same day I got the ticket, blah, 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 blah. Long story short, after two weeks, this ticket right here, dismissed. Completely dismissed. I don't owe anybody Well, I owe like the car people because I'm financing this thing, but I don't owe the parking department or where, wherever they're from, I don't owe them shit. So take that, you scumbags. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna start. This is gonna hurt my calf. I feel like this is gonna hurt my calf. Oh boy. It seems to be a really slow crawl. It's about to be stop and go in a second here. Well, would you look at that? We got into second gear. Woo! We made it, mama! We made it into second gear, folks! We're re- Oh, oh, never mind, never mind. That, oh, no, second, we're staying in second. Oh, boy, we're, we're in it for the long haul now, boys. Here we go, here we go. You kinda just, you kinda just fall into this thing. Oh, my God. Getting out, you gotta like... You gotta contort yourself in weird ways. McLaren. You think if we drive off right now, there's got this. I'll throw this thing in reverse, we're, we're out. Doors up and everything. Oh God. It's the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my life. So yeah, that was the Fordham Car Club. Someone brought a whole McLaren. I couldn't, I can't believe it. Uh, yeah, I think that's it for today. I just gotta head home, I gotta gas up. Do I have to gas up? And so I'm back from that Fordham Car Club photo shoot. I met a Subaru ambassador. There was a guy with a Hawkeye WRX. We got to talking about Subies and he was like, do you want a Subaru bag? And I was like, are you serious? Turns out he was a Subaru ambassador and he, he just gave me this. Dude, shouts out to you. I really love the Subaru community. So I got this bag. We got a, oh, that's awesome. Tomorrow. Welcome to Saturday of the weekend vlog. We're gonna go to Yonkers in a bit, but uh, the appointment actually got moved, I think up an hour. So hope you guys are having a great day. It's nice and sunny. Oh, the door's locked. It's nice and sunny, but it is a lot colder than yesterday. This is a pretty girl. Nice and shiny. <laughs> now we, uh, now we go on a little adventure. So, I, uh, I come here a lot to film. Who have I filmed from here? I filmed Greg's Charger, the red Hellcat. I filmed the other red Hellcat, and yeah. So now it's about time that I finally took it in here to get uh, to get working on the car. Since he's still busy rapping, I'm gonna go get something to eat. Do the bag and formula. Do the do the bag and formula. I get the bag and flip it and tumble it Straight off a lot, 300 cash And the car came with a blood in it The mama a thot, and she got ass And she gon' fuck up a bag Pull up to the spot, living too fast Dumbin' it, dumbin' the stash I get the bag and formula I get the bag and flip it and tumble it Straight off a lot, 300 cash And the car came with a blood in it The mama a thot, and she got ass And she gon' fuck up a bag Pull up to the spot, living too fast Dumbin' it, dumbin' the stash You get the bag and formula You get the, you get the bag and formula I 
I get the bag and flip it and double it. Straight off the lot, three hundred cash, and the car came with a blood in it. The mama a thot, and she got ass, and she gon' fuck up a bag. Pull up to the spot, living too fast, jumping and jumping the stash. You get the bag and fumble it, I get the bag and flip it and double it. Straight off the lot. By the way, if you if you're up in Yonkers, want to get your car wrapped, I highly recommend this place. These guys, awesome job. I was a little bit apprehensive about getting the tint um, because I like the look without the tints, and I like people being able to see me in my car. But at the same time, tints look cool. And now that I see it on the car. About two hours in, let's see the progress. Ooh. It looks so good. That's the man right there. And now I have tints, and it looks so much better. It's definitely a noticeable difference back home. This is Asa's like first real, not real, but more mods for Asa. <laughs>